Human nature is basically the will to survive, deep entrenched in, in every human. Not necessarily to just consume and to expand, but I reckon to survive. That's why humans are such successful species. Currently, there's about 1,200 national parks in Africa. There will probably be less than 100 national parks in Africa in 20 years from now. That's how quickly the decline is going to be. What is nature? We tend to talk or think about nature as being on the other side of the fence. This side of the fence is humans, that side is nature. And nature is supposed to be the great outdoors. But I think that's wrong. I think humans was part of the environment for the last, I don't know how many million years. People are not really connected anymore to nature. They are more connected to their own worlds. I think we all should see conservation as being different from what it used to be 100 years ago or 50 years ago, where, as a statistic, in the last 60 years, our human population doubled of what we had forever before that. We increased in our occupation of the earth, and our conservation can't be simply leaving animals out in their own environment and let them be, because that environment is growing smaller and smaller because of our human encroachment into the natural habitat. Along with what we're doing on this farm, or what Vickers is doing on this farm, is actually protecting animals from active human threat, from poaching. I don't see any other way how we're going to save rhinos or any other species for that matter if we don't have an active approach. And, and doing research is to get those key aspects to preserve what's left. Not just for the animal, but for the habitat and everything that comes with it, the ecosystem. I think if, if we lose the fight in saving the species that are endangered or the rhinos, I think it's a loss for humans, especially your grandchildren won't be able to know or see a rhino. But also, in general, the rhinos, they have a big impact on, on other species as well. So if you take out the rhinos, everything will be affected as a result. Human nature has got a bad history when it comes to conservation. Being a conservationist, having an endless curiosity to try and understand and preserve and conserve what's left. The reality is, we've probably lost the battle already. We're trying to make a difference, but it's tricky to say if it's going to turn it around. But I have that obligation and that moral value to be the guy to try and change it. I have it. I want to stimulate anyone else to do it. You've got equal responsibility in making that difference. To put a chap on the shoulder and say, now we've done something, something good. If you ask me what will happen if the rhino goes extinct, probably nothing. What happened after the dodo went extinct? It's sad, but life goes on. But the symbolism behind it is actually the scary part. Because the Rhino is actually the one species that can pay for its survival, but yet it's one of the most threatened at the moment. It's very important that we realize that we have to change the way we're living and that we as a species are not going to survive unless we change how we think and, and how we do things.